Hello, welcome to Scott Plays. Um, a little over a week ago I posted in a number of Facebook and Google Plus groups um, stating that I intend to make basically this video um, introducing uh, my channel Scott Plays and what I intend to do with it. Um, my plan is to produce a, a number of different types of videos. Um, they will cover um, first plays where I get a new game, open the box, read the rules, play through the game for the first time and then give my um, first thoughts about the game. Um, as it will be a first play it will almost certainly be full of mistakes and I will, I will get rules wrong and my gameplay won't be particularly good but hopefully It'll give them an impression of what the game is like and give me enough to give you some idea of what I think of the game. Then I will also be doing um, single playthroughs and full campaign playthroughs of games that I am more experienced with. These will not be teaching games, um, they will not be reviews. Um, but I will cover the rules naturally during the gameplay. I will talk about what I think about the game, but my primary aim is to show you how the game plays and my experience of playing it. And then lastly, and probably fairly infrequently, I will do the occasional video like this where I'm talking to camera about some topic. Um, it will always be board game related. Um, it might be industry news, it might be the latest hype or some controversy on Facebook groups like that ever happens. <laughs> anyway, that's the basic idea of what I want to do with the channel. Um, now, when I posted in the, the groups, I, I asked for your questions, so I think I will just pull those up and I think the best thing is for me to answer some of those now. First question I got was from Jeremy Santiago and before I go any further, apologies if I butcher any names here, although actually most of them are fairly straightforward. Um, Jeremy asks, uh, what are your favourite types of games, Euros, thematic, card based, one hour, less playtime or one, more than one hour, what kind of games will you focus on, uh, new releases or old games, both, uh, how long have you been playing hobby games and specifically solo games? Okay, so maybe I'll start with those last two questions first. Um, I have been a board gamer for as long as I can remember really. I grew up in a household where we had all the classics, the Monopoly, uh, Cluedo or Clue if you're American, um, but we also had a few slightly more unusual games. Um, the ones that particularly come to mind are um, Escape from Colditz um, and a game I can't remember the name of which um, it was a form of battleships um, but you were a submarine commander and the board was this um, really nice setup like battleships where you had the screen in the middle and the two trays but at the bottom of the central screen there was a uh, periscope type setup so you could s and all of the um, ships rather than being on the, the plane at the bottom were on the vertical thing so in order rather than guessing where your opponents ships were you use the periscope to look at where they were and you could figure out how far up the board they were or how far away they were and you would then have um, a 
I think there was a torpedo and a depth charge tool that had little pokey out bits that you poked into the the board which would knock the ships out. It was really cool. Um, but uh, Escape from Colditz, I think, is kind of the game that made me the board gamer I am today. Um, it's a very, and there's, um, for anybody that isn't aware, there is a updated version of the game available. Um, and although even with that updated version, it's, it is a bit dated. I mean, it, it dates back to the 70s. Um, in fact, the copy that I still have is as old as I am. But it was the first game I played that had uh, a number of more interesting game mechanics in it. Um, and yeah, that kind of stuck with me. Um, played a bit of Magic, uh, board games like um, Robo Rally, um, and then uh, probably about four or five years ago, I picked up a copy of quite a controversial game um, at the time, um, and I guess, I guess still quite controversial, um, uh, called um, The War on Terror, the board game. Um, anyway, that game got me back into modern board gaming after a break of I don't know how many years, quite a few. Um, and since then I've, I've bought quite a few. My collection is probably about a hundred or so games. Um, I do favour solo games, um, mainly because they, or games that can be played solo. So a lot of co-op games, um, some competitive games can be played solo uh, as well. Um, and of course there are games that are designed purely for solo. Um, the reason for this is it allows me to play games whenever I want. I don't have to have opponents to play against. Um, I don't just play solo games though, so I, I do like competitive games as well. Um, trying to think of some examples. Um, uh, Castles of Burgundy is a good example of a non-solo, non-cooperative game that I particularly like. I think it's a really nice design. Um, but the majority of my collection is uh, solo playable. So what else did Jeremy ask? Uh, what are your favourite types of games? Okay, so as I said, cooperative games particularly, games that can be played solo. Um, my, in terms of genre and theme, um, my tastes are pretty broad. I, I like both Ameritrash and, or Thrash, however you want to say, thematic games, um, and Euros, non-thematic, um, uh, abstract strategy games I like as well. Um, for example, my favourite two-player game at the moment is Onitama. I think the, the design of that is just really nice, very elegant, very streamlined, um, but there's quite a bit of depth and uh, both strategy and tactics in there. Um, let me think what else. Uh, I've already mentioned Castles of Burgundy. My favourite cooperative solo playable game at the moment is, well, actually no, there's a couple. Um, First Martians, I pre-ordered that, love that game. I personally don't have any issue with the rules. I know a lot of people do, probably best I say no more than that really. I love the game, it's really good. Um, 
I had played Robinson Crusoe before, so that probably helped with understanding the rules. Um, and apologies for the background noise. Um, yeah, really great game. Um, another game I'm really into at the moment is Arkham Horror, the card game. Um, yeah, the, I tend not to buy too many of those types of games because of the expense. Um, Arkham Horror is my one LCG at the moment. Um, I also quite like uh, Ashes Rise of the Phoenix Born, I think it's called. Um, really nice system. Um, that's sort of the my one other game that is sort of close to the LCG model. Um, what kind of games will you focus on? Okay, the my videos will be. All right, I don't want to say all because it might change in the future. But my plan at the moment is to focus purely on solo playable games. Um, it makes actually making the videos a lot easier. I can just set up, go, record, get it done. Uh, oh, new releases or older games? A bit of both. As I said earlier, um, I will be doing first play videos, which obviously will be tend to be newer games. Um, I, I'm not a not fully into the cult of the new. Um, I'm still um, finding older games that are really good. And so when that happens, I will do first plays of those. Um, so yeah, there will be a mix. Single play and campaign play videos will probably tend to be slightly older to older games um, rather than new games simply because when I do those I want to have a really good understanding of the game so that I'm not making lots of mistakes. Um, the um, yeah also one of the reasons I want to do or I intend to focus on solo playable games is I don't want to have that situation of I'm running two different players and you know I have a virtual second player or opponent or which just gets messy and makes it really I, it it means you you inevitably make mistakes um, so uh, yeah I'm not not going to be doing any of that. Um, so yeah, I think that now covers all of Jeremy's questions. Um, thank you, Jeremy, for those. Uh, okay, um, good friend of mine, um, AJ Vinovic, um, asks, why Canada? Um, I'm currently on holiday in Canada. Um, in I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier in the video. Uh, in Toronto, sitting outside Markham Civic Centre. Uh, I don't know why Canada. I guess because I haven't been here before. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so back to some more game related questions. Um, Simon Roadhouse asks What is my favourite game, my favourite genre, favourite mechanic? Okay, favourite game. I tend. Okay, for all of these, I tend not to have favourites. Um, if I'm pushed, I will usually say my favourite game is the last one I played or the last one I bought. Um, so at the moment, it is First Martians, it is Arkham Horror, uh, the card game. Um, I guess the one game that is I've had for a bit longer that I does stand out as one that I particularly like and I particularly come back to. Um, is Castles of Burgundy um, and I hope you can see from that that I don't really have a favourite genre or a favourite mechanic I like pretty much well I was going to say I like pretty much all games that's not quite accurate there are obviously games I just don't like um, but 
Um, I, I like a lot of games. I, I am a, or you might call an Omni gamer. Okay, Timothy, Timothy Gay uh, asks, I'd like to know which Blood Rage monster is your favourite. Well, Timothy, I have never played Blood Rage. Um, I'm going to say the dragon. <laughs> no idea whether there's a dragon in there or not. Chris Strain asks, um, are you doing reviews? Uh, are you interviewing people in the industry, giving news, Kickstarter focused, Kickstarter excluded? Are you going to use your game collection as a backdrop like almost everyone else? Uh, I'll answer that last one first. Um, no, generally I won't be doing that. Um, when I do uh, videos like this where I'm talking to the camera, I will generally find somewhere nice outdoors, a bit more interesting, you know. It does have the problem of having people wandering by and background noise, but you know that's part of part of the the art. <laughs> so what else do you ask? Okay, Kickstarter. Okay, I do kickstart games. Um, I'm very choosy about what games I kickstart. Um, one I'm waiting on at the moment, and is probably going to be my first first play video. Um, is Clans of Caledonia. That looks like a really nice game. Um, so yes, I will be covering Kickstarter games. I may do uh, videos like this where I talk about some Kickstarter games if they are uh, particularly interesting. Um, but it, it's not going to be the bulk of my content. Um, Similarly, interviews, reviews, uh, I don't plan to do that a lot. Um, news, I may cover news occasionally, it depends. I, it's, it's not something I want to focus on, but if there are interesting topics that I have, or I think I have something interesting to say on, I will cover them. Joseph Clark asks, favourite gun, favourite game under £10, £15 or £20? Uh, favourite game that nobody or hardly anyone knows about? Okay, uh, again I'll answer that last one first. Shadow Rift. This game doesn't get anywhere near the love that I think it should. It's a really nice deck builder. It is a pure deck builder, um, but you are playing heroes, protecting a village, um, it has a certain amount of tower defence built into it, um, it's just really nice. The latest edition has really nice artwork, um, the designer is very active on the BGG forums. Um, and yeah, I just, I like it a lot, uh, and I, I, I would like to see it get more love than it does. Oh, yeah. Favourite game under various price points? Uh, Favourite game under £10? Um, you know, I don't have many really cheap games. Uh, it's probably a gap in my collection. Um, one I'm thinking of, which I'm not sure, comes under £10, but you probably can pick it up. And again, apologies for the background noise. Hopefully that's gone now. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, game that you probably can pick up for under £10, which I do really like, is Hanabi. Uh, cooperative game, card-based game, in which you're trying to build or put on a firework display. Um, if you haven't seen how it plays, find a, play, <laughs> a gameplay video of Hanabi. It's interesting. Um, so, under £15. Um, not sure if this comes into that price bracket, but 
again, I think you might be able to get it for, uh, actually no, it's probably not, probably a bit more expensive than the one I'm thinking of. Um, so let's say under £20 on Itama, great game. Um, I think you can get it for under £20 now. If not, let's say under 30 <laughs> uh, Under 15 again, I'm not sure. Again, the, the, this is a, probably a, a gap in my collection. Um, yeah, can't think of anything at the moment. I'm sure I've got something. If I think of anything, I will post in the comments on this video. Uh, next question. Uh, Neil Robinson. Uh, ah, right, another not entirely game related question. Which is better, Oxford or Cambridge? Uh, I live in Cambridge, so I have to say Cambridge. I'm not from there. I didn't go to the university. It doesn't really bother me. And he also asks, what is your favourite cooperative game? Uh, again, don't really have favourites, but at the moment I would say Arkham Horror, the LCG, very good game, very, not sure what the word is, good, I guess. <laughs> and finally, last question is from Joe Slack, and um, I think I've actually pretty much answered this already. Will you be playing any completely solo games or only games that have a solo mode along with multiplayer modes? Um, yes, I will be covering purely solo games. Um, I have, for example, Friday, um, Honor Rim, um, I can't remember which one of the other ones, but I'm looking to pick up the whole of the, the Oniverse games. Um, but uh, yes, I also will be covering games that uh, just have a solo mode. Um, good examples of that would be Clans of Caledonia, um, Lewis and Clark, um, which has a yeah, actually really nice um, solo mode for what's well, basically just a race game. Um, yeah, I can't think of any others off the top of my head, so yeah, solo games but not just purely solo and not just games that have a solo mode. Um, one thing I will say about that is I will pretty much exclusively focus on games that have an official solo mode. Um, if I find a game that has an unofficial solo mode that I think is particularly good, then I may cover that, but that's not, never going to be a large part of the videos I make. Okay, I think that covers everything I want to say. Uh, I've answered all the questions that I got. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope the background noise isn't too bad. Um, I will find out in a minute when I play it back. Um, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel, like this video, uh, share it as much as you want, all the usual stuff, you know. Um, and. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on, well, hope for you to see me again <laughs> um, in future videos. Thanks. Bye.